Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel Mathematical Lens by Namita. In this video, we are going to continue with chapter number 3, A Peak Beyond the Point of Grade 7 Mathematics of the new NCRT textbook Ganit Prakash. So, in the previous videos, we learned about a 10th part and a 100th from right? So, in this video, we are going to understand the decimal place value system, right? So let us see. You might have noticed that whenever we need to measure something like more accurately, we split it into 10 parts, 10 equal parts. We saw that early, right? So we split one in unit into 10, one tenth that we saw earlier. And then each, if we want further smaller parts, then we split that one tenth into 10 parts, which becomes one hundred. Now, if we want still smaller, then what do we do? So, let us see. Now, there is a question. Can we not split a unit into four equal parts or five equal parts, eight equal parts or any other number? Why only 10 or multiples of 10? Right. So, yes, we can do that. So, you can just see the example here. The example below compares how the same length is represented when the unit is split into 10 parts or 4 parts. You can see the pencil over here. The two pencils are shown. Here what they have done, they have split uh, it into 10 parts. 2 and 3, between 2 and 3, 10 parts are made. And here, 4 parts are made. So what we, what is the length here? You can say it is 2 and 5 tenth. This is 5 upon 10. Okay. Now here if we see, this is 2, 4 as there are 4 parts. So we take 2 whole, 1 upon 4. This is 2 whole, 2 upon 4. That is 2 and half you can say. And 2 whole, 3 upon 4. So even if an even more precise measure is needed, each quarter this can be divided further into four equal parts. So then you will get 16 parts. You can see here in the third pencil. So this is divided further. So here you can see this line, the smaller line. So it is possible like you go on dividing it into smaller and smaller parts. But then, why split a unit into 10 equal parts? That was our question every day. So the reason behind it is that 10 plays a special role in the Indian place value system. Like if we see the whole numbers, Indian place value system. So if there is a number like 281. So the place value of 2 is hundreds, 8 is tens, and 4 is 1. Here it is, actually it is 1 is 1. Why is it written 4? I don't know. Okay. So 1 is 1. Should be 1. Each place value is 10 times bigger than 1 immediately to its right. Okay. So this is each one if you go on jumping, it is 10 times bigger. So let us understand it. Like this. 10 ones make 1 tenth. 10 tens make 1 hundreds, right? So you are multiplying from 1 to 10, you are going multiplying by 10. Then 10, you are multiplying by 10, you get hundreds. So each one is 10 times bigger. Then it is 1,000. Then it is 10,000. And so on. You can go on multiply by 10 and you get the multiples of 10. So in order to extend this system of writing the numbers to quantities like on the right side when we are going, when we are dividing it into smaller parts. So again, we are dividing it into 10 equal parts, right? Which gives you 1 10. So here, if you are coming from this side, see the picture again, I'll just explain it. So from here, 1 to 10, you are going, it is becoming 10 times till 10,000. Further up you go, then it will be further 10 times. When you are coming back on the right side, like 10,000 to 1,000, you are dividing by 10. So it is reducing 10 times. From 1,000 to 100, it is again 10 times. 
thousand to ten, ten times it is reducing. So if you are going further, wouldn't it be better to divide it into ten parts? So one divided by ten will give you one tenth. Then one tenth divided by ten will give you one hundred, and so on, right? So then we can maintain that decimal. Place value system, the Indian place value system. So just see here. So what is happening after one? We are dividing it further by ten. So you get one upon ten. Dividing again ten, so you get one upon hundred. If you further divide, you'll get one upon thousand. That is thousand. Can we extend it further? Yes, we can of course extend. I told you, if you divide by ten, becomes thousands. So let us see here. What will be the fraction? What will the fraction be when one tenth is one hundredth is split into ten equal parts? So it will be one thousand. A thousand such parts will make up one unit. So this is actually one unit from zero to one. So first we divided it into ten parts. Then ten was further divided into each was the each one tenth was divided into ten parts, right? So you just understand this. I'll just reduce so that you can see all of them together. So you can see here, zero to one, it is divided into ten, ten parts. So one upon ten, two upon ten, three upon ten, four upon. Ten. This we saw earlier. Then each this you can see, six upon ten and seven upon ten is further divided into. Why we have written sixty one? Because we saw earlier also that six upon ten can be written as sixty upon hundred because we are making hundred part. So this is seventy upon hundred. So in between numbers will be sixty one, sixty two, sixty three. Upon hundred. Now, in between these two, sixty-six and sixty-seven, we are further dividing it into ten parts. Right. So now, what we do? We add a zero over here. So sixty-six upon hundred becomes six sixty upon thousand, and here this becomes six seventy upon thousand. Right. So after six sixty, it will be six sixty one. Six sixty two, six sixty three, right? So, the way we extended earlier, right, to the left side, we got ten thousand. We get bigger place values at each step. Now, when we are extending it to the right side of one thousand, getting smaller place values at each step. So, one tenth, then one upon hundred. Then one thousand, like that. If you go further, it will be one upon ten thousand. So the value is decreasing here on the right side. Uh, in the left side, when we were moving, the value was increasing. Just see, it is explained over here. So this is one one unit. You are going in the left hand side. It is increasing ten times each time. And when we are going on the right hand side, just see the below, the value is decreasing ten times, right? So this way of writing the numbers, it is called as the decimal system. Now, since it is based on ten, it is decim. Decim means ten in Latin. Now, now if you see in Sanskrit, it is dash. Dash means again ten. So there are similar words like ten occurring across many Indian languages like Odia, Konkani, Marathi, Hindi, Gujarati, Bodo, and Assamese. Right? So that are the different or like in different languages they use. Uh, it is named in a different way like this way, Manta Shah. But the meaning is ten. How big? So we already know that a hundred ten make thousand. Okay, hundred into ten will make thousand. Then hundreds make hundred a hundred hundreds will make ten thousand. This we have learned earlier in lower classes. Now we'll see the similar fractional parts. How many? So how many thousands make one unit? 
So how many thousands is it? Here we'll do. I'll show you rough part on the left hand side, and then we can write the answer on the right hand side. So how many thousands you want? So thousand, and you want the answer as one. So when you multiply it by thousand, then only you'll get answer one, because this zero zeros will be striped off. So answer will be thousand. This thousand, thousand will make one. Got it? Second question is, how many thousands make one tenth? Now you have thousands with you, and you want to make it one tenth is your target. So that you should keep in mind. So you want one zero. There are three zeros. So here, what we can do is we can put one and two zeros. So that you strike off these two zeros, and what is left? Left is one tenth. So your answer is hundred. Thousand. Here also thousand, thousand. Question C is how many thousands make one hundred? So now again you have thousand. You want to make it hundred. So you need only one zero to be striped off. So you will multiply it by ten, and you will get one upon hundred. Right, so what did you multiply it with? Ten. So how many thousands? Ten thousand will be your answer. So these are the answers. Here is the explanation. So how many tenth make one ten? Now I erase this because otherwise more confusion will be there. It is asked, how many tenth make? So you have tenth with you, and your you want the answer as ten, right? So you need one zero in the numerator. So naturally you will multiply by hundred, so that one zero gets striped off, and the answer is ten. So your in the answer you will write hundred tenth. Will make one tenth. This is tenth. This is ten. So you should be clear. Tenth means one upon ten, and tenth means one zero ten. Similar question is how many hundred? So whatever is asked, how many hundred? So write that over here into dash. We need to think this number. We give you one ten. Now you want ten here, so naturally here you should have one more zero, right? So that two zeros are striped off, and you are left with one zero. So the answer is thousand hundred. Thousand hundred will be your answer. So why you need to just do this rough work so that you don't have to learn this by heart? so this way doing rough work helps you to reach the answer correctly easily and accurately right so we will continue with this chapter in the next video thank you